Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2023, this is the solution video to paper one, question six. So question six is another functions and calculus question. Part A, uh, quite easy, we're given two functions, f of x is equal to x plus four and g of x is equal to x squared minus two. Find the two values of x for which f of x is equal to g of x. So all you need to do is let them equal to each other. So we can say x squared minus 2 is equal to x plus 4. You can see that this is a quadratic. Get everything to one side, you'll get x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Factorize that, it'll be x minus 3 times x plus 2 equal to 0. So that means x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 2. So a very nice easy start to question 6 and that's worth a very generous 10 marks. Part two of A, um, find the area of the shaded region uh, in the diagram below. So this is the shaded region between the two functions. Uh, f of x is x plus four and g of x is x squared minus two. So the functions um, from the above part, find the area between them. So there's a couple of ways to do this. The way that, the way that I think is easiest is to do f of x minus the g of x, and that will give you um, a new function. So that's going to be x plus 4 minus x squared minus 2, which simplifies down to give you minus x squared plus x plus 6. And this function now, we can integrate that between our limits, minus 1 and 2, and that will give us the answer straight out. So a, the area, is equal to the integral from minus 1 to 2 of minus x squared plus x plus 6 dx. So we integrate, we'll end up integrating minus x squared, you'll get minus x cubed over 3. Integrate x, you get x squared over 2. And integrate 6, you'll get 6x. And we are going to evaluate that between minus 1 and 2. So that is equal to, uh, first of all, we'll put in 2 and then we'll put in 1 and we'll get the difference between them. So that's going to be equal to minus 2 cubed over 3 plus 2 squared over 2 plus 6 times 2 minus minus um, minus 1 cubed over 3 plus minus 1 squared over 2 and plus six times minus one. So you can throw it in, into your calculator as it is, and that should give you an answer of 33 over two. And you need to write down that it's units squared because it is area. So that is worth a total of 15 marks, which um, is probably reasonable enough for that question. Part B then um, of this question, um, B, an element of R, is a positive constant, and the integral from 0 to B of B times e to the bx dx is equal to e. Work out the value of B. So let's start by writing down our integral and see what we can do with it. So the integral from 0 to B of B times e to the bx dx is equal to e. Well, first of all, this b is a constant, so we can take it outside of the integral sign. So b times the integral from 0 to b of e bx dx is equal to e. So now we're able to integrate this e bx. So it's going to be b times, if I integrate e to the power of bx, I get from the log tables 1 over b e to the bx. So 1 over b e to the bx and that's evaluated between 0 and b, and it's still equal to e. So evaluating then between 0 and b, what I get is, uh, first of all, the b and the 1 over b will multiply together to give me 1, so I can forget about the b and the 1 over b altogether, then throw in my 0 and b, I get e to the b times b, minus e to the b times 0 is equal to e, I'm sorry, e, um, and then that's e to the b squared, e to the b squared 
minus 1 is equal to e. I'm trying to find b on its own, so I need to isolate this term here. So that's e to the b squared is equal to e plus 1. Take the natural log of both sides, that will give me b squared is equal to natural log of e plus 1. And then I can take the square root of both sides and say b is equal to the square root of the natural log of e plus 1. And that, on the right hand side, you can put into your calculator and you end up getting b is equal to 1.15. So there's, um, there was a bit of work in that, that was tricky enough. Um, I'd say a lot of students found that tricky. It was only worth five marks because of how tricky it was. Okay, so if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.